glitch effects are wildly popular. They're used quite often for transitions, motion graphics, and visual effects. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create some really awesome glitch effects inside of HitFilm, completely for free. Right, let's get into it. The first effect that I'm going to be showing you how to create is using displacement maps. As you can see here, I've got a composite shot set up with two clips in it. I want to add a glitch transition just here using displacement maps. So to do this, go over to new layer and create a new plane layer. I'm going to call this displacement map and then just hit OK. Then head up to the effects tab and search for fractal noise. And you want to then add this to this plane layer. In the controls for the fractal noise, change the interpolation from cubic to block. In the transform controls, decrease the scale until you get some nice thin rectangles. Using the axis scale, you can change how it scales on the X and Y axis. This is going to be powering how the footage is distorted by using the black and white levels. And so in order to make this more obvious, you need to increase the exposure, decrease the offset, to create some quite nice contrast. Currently this isn't moving, and so go to the start of the timeline and start keyframing the seed. Then move to the end of the timeline and increase this value to a higher number. I'm gonna change it to 50. In order to use this, we need to turn it into a composite shot itself. So right click on it and select make a composite shot. I'm just gonna call this displacement map and then make sure that you press move with layer, then hit okay. Then go back to the main composite shot where you've got the footage layers, then just hide the displacement map. I'm also going to move it to the bottom, then create a new grade layer. Once you've created that grade layer, go up to the effects tab and search for displacement. And then drag and drop this onto the grade layer. Change the source layer from none over to the displacement map. And then if you increase the horizontal displacement and vertical displacement, you will see what this is doing. It's taking that map that we just made and using it to offset the video. Go to the point where you want the transition to happen. For me, it's at around two seconds. And start keyframing for the horizontal and vertical displacement. Then move a few frames before that and turn these values back down to zero. Then move a few frames after the transition has happened and turn these back down to zero. Now, as you can see, you've got a glitch happening on the point where the videos change, which makes it look really cool. You could just randomly keyframe some other offsets to happen at other points, and that can sometimes look really cool. You could create multiple displacement maps and create multiple copies of the displacement effect to create some different sizes of distortion and displacement. If you're enjoying this video so far, then please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ringing the bell to get notified when I next upload. Anyway, let's get back on with the video. The next effect that I'm going to be showing you how you can create is an RGB split. This is a really awesome effect, and it is surprisingly easy to do. As you can see here, I once again have a composite shot set up that has two video clips in it. So to create this effect, select your video video clips and turn them into a composite shot. I'm just going to call this RGB split footage. Then go back to the composite shot where the videos were. You then need to duplicate this layer two times so that then you have three layers. Each of these layers is either going to represent the red, green or blue channels that make up an image. So I go through and name them red, green and blue. In order to isolate the color channels, Go up to the effects tab and search for levels histogram and drag this onto the red layer and then change the view from RGB to green and then decrease the green output white then change to blue and decrease the blue output white then you can hide the red layer then in the effects tab find the levels histogram effect again drag this onto the green layer change the view to red decrease the red output white then decrease the blue output white now we have the green channel. And then just repeat this for the blue layer. And now you should have a layer representing the red, green, and blue channels. To put these all back together to make the original image, select all three of them, right click, and select blend mode. Change this to screen. And now it looks like nothing's happened. In order to create an RGB split, you need to offset the layers from each other. You can do this manually by using the position controls, or you can use the shake effect, which is what I'm going to be doing. So find the shake effect in the effects tab and drag and drop this onto one of the layers. Then go to the point where you want the transition to happen and increase the speed to 
to a higher value. This creates a really awesome distorty glitching effect that looks really cool and random. Also increase the amount. I'm going to change this to something close to 100. And then start keyframing. So on the frame that the transition happens, you want to have the highest value that you're going to be reaching. Then move back by around 5 frames and decrease this amount down to 0. Then move around 7 frames after the transition has happened and change this back down to zero. If you want to have more than one of the color channels being offset, then copy the shake effect and then paste it onto the other layer. However, because these are both following the exact same set of instructions, then there will be the red and green layers will be moving together. To easily get around this, just change the seed value to something different. And now you can see that all three layers are different to one another, which creates a really cool effect. You can mess around with the settings in the shake effect to create a very subtle constant shaking, or you could randomly keyframe the amount at other points, which I think looks really cool as well. If you've enjoyed the music in this video, then you can check out Artlist by following the link down in the description below. And if you follow that link, you'll get an extra two months for free on any annual plan. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, then please leave a like and subscribe, as that would be greatly appreciated. If you have any questions or tutorial suggestions, then please feel free to leave them down in the comments below, and I'll try and get back to you. Anyway, hope to see you next time. Goodbye.